Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 musical TV shows. We did pull off something great, and I'm very proud of all of my dancers. I hope we get to do it again. For this list, we'll be looking at the best television series to watch if you love a good song and dance. Since we're already so spoiled for choice, we won't be including animated series. Although, Central Park is definitely worth a watch. The city's little refuge filled with kind of art and art. And guess what? It's central in my heart. What's your favorite musical TV show moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Flight of the Concords. In this quirky musical comedy, Kiwi duo Jemaine Clement and Brett McKenzie play their fictionalized selves. The show focuses on New Zealand's fourth most popular guitar-based digi-bongo acapella rap-funk comedy folk duo, trying to make names for themselves in New York. Many of the songs were interwoven into the story, while others were presented as music videos. The principal cast also included Reese Darby, Arge Barker, and Kristen Schaal, who would often steal the spotlight as the pair's one and only crazed fan Mel. The sun shining in the sky, and suddenly I can fly. I'm a little bird up high in B formation with my favorite guys. Overall, the short-lived series received a positive critical response, and its witty, deadpan humor was beloved by the fans. Evicted. Mm. By whose authority? The landlord. Why? Well, just because we were paying with New Zealand dollars instead of American dollars. It garnered plenty of acclaim, including 10 Emmy Award nominations. Number 9, Fosse Verdon. This biographical miniseries explored the relationship between the iconic choreographer and director Bob Fosse and celebrated four-time Tony Award winner Gwen Verdon. What did I do to deserve you? <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> hey. Thank you. It had everything a musical theater fan could want, from drama to chemistry to a compelling storyline. And, of course, the soundtrack that had us busting out jazz hands at any given opportunity. It was really essential to us that any work that referenced or was from Cabaret or Sweet Charity or from Pippin felt like the real thing. The talented cast was led by Sam Rockwell as a perfectly broody Fosse, and Michelle Williams as a phenomenal burden. When was the last time you acted? An hour ago when you walked in the door, how'd I do? That's very funny. Plus, who wouldn't love a series that features songs from Cabaret, Pippin, Chicago, and more? Fosse Verdon received 17 Primetime Emmy Award nominations and plenty of critical praise. And that's good, isn't it grand? Isn't it great? Isn't it swell? It also shimmied, jazz stepped, and razzle dazzled its way into audiences' hearts. Number 8. Smash. This series gave us a peek behind the curtains into the lengthy process of putting on a Broadway show. And there's plenty of drama. The basic premise is that writers Tom and Julia work to bring a musical about Marilyn Monroe to the stage. Well, it's easy to see he was writing for me. I just wish I could play that part. Oh. However, egos, competitiveness, the all-consuming theater world lifestyle, and other scandalous complications get tangled up in the process. Its captivating plot, outstanding cast, and memorable soundtrack, including the Grammy-nominated Let Me Be Your Star, soon drew in a devoted fan base. It wasn't long before audiences fell hard on either Team Karen or Team Ivy. The series may have only lasted two seasons, but the fans have continued to keep its legacy alive ever since. Let's give a Number 9. 
Number 7. High School Musical The Musical The Series Imagine attending the real East High where the High School Musical films were created and getting to put on a school musical. Well, that's the premise for this TV spinoff. Do we have any further questions? Just one. So how do I snag two tickets for opening night? And their first production celebrates the school's connection to the hit 2006 Disney Channel movie. This could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh. Presented like a mockumentary with plenty of meta references, we follow the students through friendships, rivalries, showmances, and the whirlwind world of theater kid life. Of course, it turned its leads into household names. Olivia Rodrigo, anyone? You know the world can see us in a way that's different than who we are. Anyway, it's a great nostalgic trip for fans of the 2006 flick, especially given the OG cast cameos. But you're right here now, and you never know when you'll get a kiss. It's also a great way to introduce new audiences to a timeless decom while expanding beyond that universe to create something new. Number 6. Glee In 2009, this teen series about a group of misfits forming a glee club took the world by storm. It was funny and theatrical, but mostly it helped defy stereotypes and made its audience feel seen. That's not to say it didn't have its fair share of cringeworthy or tone-deaf moments. Every week, viewers would tune in to see what songs and big production numbers the group had in store. There was certainly no genre that was off limits, even if some were less appropriate than others. Glee's humor, heart, relatability, and soundtrack turned it into a pop culture phenomenon. It won many awards, and the cast even got to perform at the White House. Somebody to love. Find me Number 5. Gallivant An unjustly underrated TV show, Gallivant was a short-lived fantasy musical comedy with a fire soundtrack. Now at last begins a true adventure, epic, wild, a real butt clencher. So, huzzah and tally ho, sit back and here we go. We initially center on our protagonist's quest to save his true love from the villainous King Richard. It came from the mind of This Is Us creator Dan Fogelman, and had music by Alan Menken and Glenn Slater. So it's rather surprising that the series didn't get more love. And now don't you wanna tell me something too? as much as someone like me can love anyone. And with just two seasons, it's totally binge-worthy. Mallory Jansen, who plays the aforementioned love interest, Madalena, reportedly called the show the bastard child of Monty Python and the Princess Bride. If that doesn't push it to the top of your to-watch list, we don't know what will. It didn't win an Emmy, now it's time to move along. But winter's not just coming, and it came, and then it went. Now it's back with this year's least expected big event. If you love a good Disney-esque musical adventure, this series is for you. Number 4. Julie and the Phantoms this hit Netflix teen comedy musical is inspired by Julie e Os Fantasmas, a Brazilian show. We follow Julie Molina, a high schooler with a gift for music who inadvertently makes contact with a deceased 90s group and takes on lead vocalist duties. What are you doing in my mom's studio? Your mom's studio? This is our studio. Trust me, fine. The grand piano is new and, and, and my couch! Sure, maybe it's far-fetched. 
but it's undeniably one of the best musical teen comedies around. And with Kenny Ortega of High School Musical and Descendants fame as part of the team, how could it not be? The series featured 15 original tracks, three of which received Daytime Emmy Award nominations, with Unsaid Emily snagging a win. I never let you go And the words I most regret Are the ones I never meant to leave Unsaid Emily Despite its vast cult following, it was canceled following the first season. I thought you crossed over. Why didn't you cross over? I can't believe the Orpheum wasn't our unfinished business. We'd still love to see it resurrected for a second. Number 3. Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist What would you do if you could read minds? What if people's thoughts came to you in the form of musical numbers? Zoe. Making love was just for fun. Zoe. Those days are gone. Uh, were you just singing to me? No. Why? Well, you'd have the premise for this series. After a freak occurrence, Zoe discovers she can hear what folks are thinking through song. I got the music in me. The show, though brief, was sweet, heartwarming, emotional, funny, and simply great entertainment. We loved following Zoe's journey as she used her newfound skills to connect with those around her. And them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing this'll be the day that I die. Its incredible soundtrack and mind-blowing performances were a major draw as well. As, of course, was the unbelievably talented ensemble cast. There's nothing you and I won't do. I'll stop the world and meld with you. A lot of heart and care clearly went into every storyline and song choice, and we only wish it would have stayed around longer. Number 2. Schmigadoon if you love Golden Age musicals, you probably binged this show the moment it came out. Melissa and Josh hit a roadblock in their relationship and go on a camping trip to try and salvage their spark before it's too late. However, they get lost in the woods and emerge in the colorful and animated town of Schmigadoon. Just cause you're beautiful. Now they're trapped until they find true love. It's a singing and dancing spectacular with more Broadway icons than you can count. You must try with all you your heart. All Life's your heart. profoundest joys go to girls and boys who finish what they start. The musical numbers and characters parody the likes of Carousel, The Music Man, Oklahoma, and of course, Brigadoon, among several others. Schmigadoon is a loving send up of the classic musical and is a whole lot of fun. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions Empire. Drama, excitement, and great music, what more could you want? But now that I can see it, then right I'm really made for this. Chase in the sky, try to fly. Rise, a short-lived but heartfelt series about a group of high schoolers putting on a production of Spring Awakening. We've all got our jump, and my jump is you. Girls 5 Eva. We're here for the epic girl band comeback. Gonna be famous Katie Keene, an entertaining story about making it in the biz, led by Pretty Little Liar star Lucy Hale. So bring me all my finest, most audacious, mighty finest, most revealing, most expensive, and taboo. Little Voice, an 
endearing tale about finding your voice by Waitress collaborators Jesse Nelson and Sarah Bareilles. I'm on my way now, and if it's the way down, then as I fall, I just have to admit. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend This witty and socially conscious musical comedy turned the genre on its head. Created by Rachel Bloom and The Devil Wears Prada writer Aline Brosh McKenna, audiences enjoyed a brilliantly witty story littered with hilarious and well-thought-out musical parodies. Yes, smarts can help this situation untangle, so professors, teach me the math of love triangles. But it also wasn't afraid to get real. I just wanted the pain to stop. It's like I was out of stories to tell myself that things would be okay. Through the experiences of Rebecca Bunch and her crew, the show tackled subjects like body image, female sexuality, and mental health without a token character in sight. It wasn't highly rated by any means, but thankfully it graced our screens for four seasons. Sweet treats, here's the deal. Welcome to the club with open admission. You're cast in the play that has no audition. Clearly, its vast collection of awards, positive critical reception, and devoted fan base kept it afloat. The show found an outstanding balance between empathy, relatability, and comedy. Let's generalize about men. Let's generalize about men. Let's take one bad thing about one man and apply it to all of them. The musical numbers were the perfect finishing touch. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.